Today, I won't keep you in suspense anymore. I have now chosen two winners for the Amazon $500 gift card giveaway. It was so easy. I used a YouTube picker and what it does is it loads all the comments from that particular video. And then all I do is click pick a winner and it scrambles, you know, all the comments and then picks somebody for me. And then I did it one more time and it went and it grabbed somebody for me. And so the two winners are. So Lori Porter 8066, you are a winner. Congratulations, friend. All right, let's pick another one. And at the Treyer Tribe 7297, you are a winner. Now I know a lot of you may be disappointed that didn't win. And I'm so sorry about that, but they only offered it to two people. And those were the two that were randomly chosen. But I want to assure you that if Amazon reaches out to me again, I will offer this as many times as they offer it to me. So more people will have a chance to win. So as you know, I've just announced the winners and this is how it's gonna work. I will leave that open for two days. Now, if you don't respond within two days time frame, it's I'm going to have to pick another winner, unfortunately. So I hope that both of you see this and comment quickly because if you don't, I have to open it to other people. I will leave my email in the description box of the video. So at the end of this month, Amazon will be emailing me your $500 gift certificate. And so I need you to go to the description box of this video. I'll have my email address. And all you need to do is email me. And then when I get the certificate sent to me, I will email them off to you and you can go shopping. It's that simple. Congratulations to the two winners. Happy shopping. And remember, get back to me as soon as possible with your email address. I'll leave my email address and you send me yours. That way at the end of the month, all I have to do is send you a quick email with a certificate and you are good to go. And you're off and shopping. All right, what are we doing today? We are decorating a guest bedroom upstairs. Okay, so here is the bed. I have picked out some artwork. We're gonna hang it on the wall. Um, we have a mirror going over there. We have some artwork going here. Um, I have a new comforter set and artwork going here. Let's cozy up this room. I love adding architectural pieces to my pictures. It just gives it the wow factor. It fills in the wall space and it's so pretty. This is going to go up top and then underneath that arched architectural piece, three pictures. This one, this one, and this one. I believe I got these at Kirkland's last year. Let's go hang them. were home goods last year. So we have that placed and these are all set. So let's throw the room together. I should mention I have this huge Ikea mirror on this wall. Can't stand it these days when you go to purchase a comforter set and it's just the comforter and two shams. I'm like, no, I want the whole bed in a bag. And so this one comes with everything. It comes with two pillow shams, two Euro shams. It comes with, I believe, three decorative pillows, not sure. 
a bed skirt and the comforter. And it's, it's really nice and good quality. It looks like this on the inside and this on the outside. It's a beautiful pattern. Let me go ahead and throw this on the bed. And those are the two Euro Shams. Okay, so I want to point out one thing. Um, this is a great quality comforter set. Around downstairs, I threw my sheets and down comforter in the washer and then I threw it in the dryer and I just went down there and it's not dry. So I didn't want to waste any time. So I just threw the bed together regardless of not having sheets on it. So you can see what it looks like. But I want you to know if you like this set, when you get the down comforter on underneath, it makes the bedding feel even more plush. Um, so this is what it looks like without any bedding underneath at all. But I promise you, when you get the bedding on, it looks really fluffy and comfy and cozy. Now, I found this cute little riser on Amazon, I don't know, a couple years ago. Michael's had this big planter. And so I just put some Hobby Lobby greenery on the inside and let it cascade over. Very simple. And we are going to put it over there, right there in the corner on that table. Here I have this little lamp from, I believe, Ross. And I just love how this looks at night. It leaves a pretty look here on the table and walls. Follow my link, you'll see the regular price. Scroll down and I believe it says, use like new price. You click on that, it gives you an even more discounted price. I take advantage of that option every chance I get. Now, I always have a lot of you guys ask about my curtains here. I am a huge fan. In fact, I have them all over my house. When I like something that much, I buy multiple. And this pattern is so beautiful. These are blackout curtains. If you flip them, it's a nice neutral color, so they'll look great from the outside of the street. But what I like is, you'll see, I don't have any shades on this window. I plan to eventually get some woven shades to add some warmth and texture to this room. And so it'll get even darker. But I wanna show you how dark this room actually gets with no blinds, shutters, shades on the window, just the curtain panels. By the way, they block out the heat too, so I am just a huge fan of these. So look, I do have one little light on in here, but look how dark it just made this room. In the winter when it gets really cold, sometimes I'll pull these back just to keep the warmth in the house. In the summertime, oh my goodness, late afternoon when it is blazing hot and the sun is coming through those windows, I'll shut the curtains downstairs if we're going to watch a movie or TV. And I'm telling you, it cools the room practically instantly. They're really, really fantastic curtains. They come in different colors too. I'll give you a little screen recording shot right here in case you're interested. And I believe I get the 96 inch length because I like them to sort of puddle to the ground. They're gorgeous, they're gorgeous. You don't even have to iron them out of the bag. They're just beautiful. 
All right, so now in that corner, we need a little something something. And I don't have another um, end table to put over there, nor do I have the space. So this is when a blanket ladder comes into play. So blanket ladders are great space fillers and they're also functional because you can put a pretty throw blanket on through the seasons. And so we have a wood tone with the mirror and then we're bringing in a wood tone over there. So they sort of, you know, connect if you will. And then we've got the wood tone in the center and the table. Now over in this corner, I need a little something to kind of fill this space. So I have this little ficus tree. I believe it's, I don't know, four feet. I found it at Home Centric, but, but I don't like the white part showing. So just to add a little texture, I think I'm gonna add this basket. You'll still see the white through it, but that's okay. I think that looks rather cute. I, I really like that basket. And you know, it gives it a little something, a little texture, a little pop of green. You guys know how I love my green. I'm bringing in this table that I got from Hobby Lobby. Um, we did some arranging upstairs. I have a ton of extra furniture. So I'm just gonna bring it in here to get it out of the way. Really, that's why. large lantern at Hobby Lobby when they had their 75% off sale and um, I got this for $22 so I thought I'd put that up there on the table <music> another one of those lamps and I'm thinking of putting it up here so at night it looks cozy from the window. And then to balance the black there, I'm going to bring this faux plant right here.
will wrap up my video for today. I hope you enjoyed hanging out with me and possibly getting some ideas for any bedroom, decorating, accessorizing, that sort of thing. Be sure to come back Friday for more decorating and reminder for the two winners of the Amazon $500 gift card giveaway. Go to the description box down below. I will have my email address. Send me an email. I will get those gift cards sent out to you the end of July. Thanks everyone and I'll see you soon. Bye guys.